Hey, everybody, how you doing? Um, I'm here with uh, Brian Golden. And, of course, Brian always has something interesting to say. And, well, now that the election's over, Brian, what's going on? Well, Jim, we should be very proud because we now live in the largest occupied territory in the world. Now that Iraq and Afghanistan have been liberated, we now live in the largest occupied territory in the world, occupied by the liberal Democrats. The rest of the country has thrown us off. And uh, we're, we're ch the inmates, I understand, are very busy up at San Quentin, Folsom, making new license plates because we're changing our slogan of our state. To, to what? Cal from California, the Golden State, to take my name in vain, to California, stuck on stupid. <laughs> now, but but the rest of the world is, is a lot smarter than us. Okay? Like, like what, what's going on well, in it, I mean, it, even our friends across the pond, our English cousins, electing David Cameron, a modern-day Reagan, who's going to clean up the mess. Of course, you notice the students in uh, England didn't appreciate the fact they're going to be paying $9,000 a year for tuition as opposed to $5,000 a year. How many students at SC wish they could go to school for $9,000 a year? But uh, David Cameron is uh, cleaning up the mess across the pond. And every, everybody else in the world has thrown off socialism, and they're trying to go back to free market capitalism. So we say, okay, bring me all your socialists. Bring me your huddled masses. We'll try it here. So what else is going on, man? Well, our governor, uh, did you notice where he took his vacation the other day? No, where'd he go? The boycott state, Arizona. I thought the state of California said that there was a giant old AIDS fence that was all the way around the, the, around the whole perimeter of the state of the Grand Canyon State. But uh, Governor Brown went over, had, Governor Elect Brown went over and went on vacation. Right? Is he trying to and nobody said anything about it. Is he trying to bring everybody together into one happy family? <laughs> well, uh, it's been postulated. That only Jerry Brown can take on the public employee unions who are trying to destroy this state, who've raped and pillaged the Treasury for years and years of this state and the hardworking people of the state. And only Jerry Brown named Nixon to China moment. Only Nixon could have gone to China to open the door to China in 1971. That only uh, Jerry Brown can make the changes necessary. I hope they're right. I got a feeling they're wrong. And I got a feeling that the big, the B word is going to be very large around here next summer <laughs> bankruptcy. Now, with the budget problem we're in right now, how, how can he fix that? What, what, what's the maneuver there? Well, he's got to cut spending. And he's got to, he also ought to cut taxes and try to get this economy moving. Because you know, Jim, what's interesting? Well, economics, well, Econ 101, I don't think the Democrats said too many syllables. Economics. When you cut taxes, you create more taxpayers. Ergo, you create more tax revenue. Every time you cut taxes, you increase tax revenue. It may seem paradoxical to people on the face of it, but it's true. Jack Kennedy cut taxes in 62, Ronald Reagan cut taxes in 81, George Bush cut taxes in 2003, and it led to grow, booming years of growth, four or five years of, of, of tremendous growth right after that. But the guys in Sacramento don't seem to understand that. They say, we want more tax revenue, so let's raise taxes. So they raise taxes, and uh, they say, okay, well, you know what, let's, let's really stick it to the rich. Let's raise the taxes on building yachts and private planes, because they're the ones who typically use those. Well, the problem is... People quit buying them in California. They buy them in other states. And the people who are working on building those vehicles in California are out of work. So we really, I wish folks in Sacramento really understood how things worked, not how they wish things worked. Now, with the situation here in the Antelope Valley where, where dealerships major have changed um, inside structure with GM and, 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 and Rat or Chevy moving to Lancaster, what, 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 what kind of take you have on that? Well, I think it's, I, we still have a fairly dynamic uh, economy, you know, uh, free market situation up here, which is good. I think it's good. I'm glad to see GM getting back into private hands. I'd prefer if those hands were not those of Hu Jintao, the prime minister, the premier of China, biggest economy in the world. But I think it's important uh, to get the government out of the uh, business of building cars because what government touches, it usually destroys. And uh, you notice the only company that didn't take the government poison, Jim, was Ford. Look how well Ford's been doing. I think it was a lesson then. It might be just a coincidence, of course. Yeah. Is anything different or happening in the Allen Valley here? Well, uh, we are. It's pretty tough when you're the unemployment rate is about what 18 percent around here, and I think it uh, for you know um, we have to redouble our efforts. Now, if we get this Chinese car company up here, that would be huge. Good paying jobs, the people because right now most of the good paying jobs belong to our neighbors who commute every day. And God bless them. They want to have the picket fence and the house in the backyard and the, and the, the you know, the smokestack and the house and everything else. The American uh, the dream will never die, thank God. But that's a long way to travel every day. Then you get latchkey problems and you get people to get, you know, the 14 could turn you into a psychopath.
if you weren't a psychopath to begin with. So we've got to get more people out. The 14 was never designed to carry this volume of traffic. So we have to, to we have to invest in more heavy industry. And I mean, we invented solar energy up here. So the, the, the solar farm they have going over here, I hope that's just like a drop in the bucket that soon all of those 18th, if, if LA World Airports doesn't want to build Palm Island National Airport, well, they don't, and they don't want to get the Defense Department going again or, or get, get NASA going to build a vehicle to go to Mars, let's cover with solar panels. We got 325 days a year of sunshine.